welcome to Rick's Corner. I have uh, something to talk about today, as I usually do always. And uh, many people come up to me and ask me about working abs. I've always had really good abs, and um, I've worked them, but there is a way to do this where you don't have to overwork them because so many people spend hours and hours and hours doing 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 crunches and abs, and they break cardio and abs and cardio and abs. But I, um, I was in the gym today, and a friend of mine came up to me. He's an older, eh, maybe he's around 50. He's a bodybuilder, about 260. He's huge. He competes. He knows what he's doing. And he came over to me and said, let me ask you a question. I said, what? He said, Rick, let me ask you a question. Does squats make your waist bigger? And I said, yeah, they will make your waist bigger. Power lifters, if you look at them, and, and they're big guys, they have big waists. And the reason being, this is your core. It's the middle of your body. When you put weight on the rack, on the bar, your body is supported by your abs and your back. That's your girth. This is where your structure is. So the heavier you go and the more you push, the more these are going to expand, the bigger they're going to get. They're a muscle and they grow. So it's the same thing with abs. I don't have to do a lot. I do 100 reps of leg raises a day, maybe, if I do that at all. And I heard a guy years ago say, tell some guy, he says, you're going to work your stomach? And the guy says, no, it's big enough already. Well, there's a lot of truth in that because your abs are a muscle, like your bicep, tricep, pecs, everything. It is a muscle. And the more you work that muscle, the thicker it gets. So if you work your abs really hard to get thick, I know mine, for example, if I do the hang leg raises, which is really heavy resistance, my abs get thick. They get big and they protrude. And someone says, gee, you look fat. But I'm not fat. I just have big abs. And so I, I had to quit really working them so hard so that they would come down. So I think that when you say, I want to get abs, and someone says, oh, I'm going to go do 300, 300 reps of abs to get my waist down, it's not going to go down. It's only going to get bigger. And you can argue with me at that point all you want, but think about it. It's a muscle. It's going to grow. You want to gain size. You want to gain weight. You want to eat. You want your muscles to grow. And if you work your abs really hard, they're going to respond to everything you do like any other muscle in your body. And it's going to grow along with it. I uh, saw another guy in the gym taking a handle with a stack of weights, maybe 100 pounds, and he's doing these, these side bends with the weight. I was told years ago, years ago when I first started bodybuilding, don't do them. I said, why? They said, I don't want to work my obliques. He says, you don't want to work your obliques because your obliques are your right around your abs, around your waist, and they get thick and they get big. And people call them love handles. That's just the nickname for them. But um, they do get big. And when you start adding weight to those things, they're going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And so it's going to only make your waist bigger. You're going to start getting bigger pant sizes and say, I don't know what's the problem here. I'm dieting. I'm training hard, but my waist is getting bigger because you're working it. And it makes a lot of sense to me. So, and I've, I've known this over the years. But a lot of you people who train don't really realize this. I mean, a lot of you do know this, and a lot of you don't know this. So I'm telling those that don't know, don't worry about getting your abs um, with a lot of work because they're, they're only going to get bigger. The key to having a small waist and small uh, uh, cut abs, that is, is to watch your diet. Back in the 70s, we did abs, but we didn't go over we didn't go overboard on them. I mean, Zabo did a thousand every once in a while. He he was a fanatic about abs, but he would have had them anyway. Because if you drop your carbs and you keep your protein high and you're losing your body fat and you're losing water, your abs are going to stay there regardless. I mean, they're always there. No matter what I do, even if I get a little covering over the top of them, some skin or whatever from ice cream, those abs are underneath there. I can still flex them in there and see them. It's a matter of getting rid of the outer layer of body fat and the outer layer of water. So if you do, um, well, I don't know. I kind of like leg raises and I also like jackknife leg raises. I think those are really good knees to your chest sitting on the edge of a higher bench because you're working your whole ab from up to down. If you're doing sit-ups, no. I did those as a kid. When I first started training, I used to sit on the floor and have my mom hold my feet, and I would do sit-ups, like 100 sit-ups, and i get a rug burn on my ass from doing them. They made my upper abs bigger, and, and, and they almost stayed that way for a long period of time. So for me, sit-ups, nope, a waste of time. Leg raises work the lower abs more, and I think they're better for you. Side bends, forget them, don't do them. I saw so many people, like I said, doing those, with heavy dumbbells, with, with the cable machines, waste of time. All it's going to do is make your waist thick. The idea is to have a smaller waist. Of course, the smaller your waist, the bigger your shoulders and your chest look. So it's an illusion, but it's, it's what it happens. All right, that's my piece for today. Think about the old-time bodybuilders like Steve Reeves that had a tiny waist and broad shoulders. Didn't have real thick waist. That's why they look so big. Today's bodybuilders are all bloated out because they work their abs. That's not the only reason, but they gain a lot of weight, they gain a lot of size and a lot of muscle. So is the waist going to stay small? No, it's going to go right there as well. It's going to grow like everything else, especially if you're taking the growth hormone. Everything is going to grow. Not only your, your bicep, tricep, delts and all that, your abs, your heart, your intestines, everything in your body grows. Every organ that is living, that gives blood to it and that's a cell, is going to grow. 
So that's how this works. And I wanted to share that with you because I thought maybe you could use it and have a good workout. And remember what I said, I try to give you do good tips all the time. So this is another one on your apps. Take it and use it. And stay tuned for more shows. By the way, I'm having Tony Pearson on, I think uh, Labor Day is coming in to do a show with me. So Tony Pearson is still in awesome shape in his late 60s and he's a really good guy and we'll have some nice information from Tony. Thanks again for watching. See you next time. RickDrayson.com. He is the equalizer, baby. See you next time.